Hello and welcome to Clarity for Sure. If you are preparing for NAMAD Grade A, here is something you shouldn't miss. In the 2021 NAMAD Grade A exam, there was an actual question asked from Acro Meteorology Instruments. Yes, instruments like Pyranometer and Pyraleometer aren't just theoretical, they are exam favourites. And most importantly, they play a crucial role in modern agriculture by helping us understand how sunlight the primary energy source for crops is measured and used effectively. So in the next few minutes, let's break down these two instruments in simple, clear and exam smart way. Let's begin with the pyranometer. A pyranometer is a scientific instrument used to measure the total solar radiation falling on a horizontal surface. This includes both the direct sunlight from the sun and the diffuse light scattered by the clouds or dust in the atmosphere. In simple terms, it tells us how much sunlight is reaching the ground which is essential for the plant growth because sunlight is the primary source of energy for photosynthesis. The device works by using a special sensor called thermophile which is covered by a glass dome. This dome allows sunlight to pass through it and the thermophile converts that light into a small electrical signal. The stronger the sunlight, the stronger the signal. In agriculture, the pyranometer helps us understand the evapotranspiration or the amount of water loss from the soils and plants, planning irrigation efficiently, selecting crops suitable for a specific location and designing systems like greenhouses and solar dryers. Now let's talk about the pyranometer. Unlike the pyranometer, a pyranometer measures only the direct beam of sunlight, that is, sunlight that comes straight from the sun without being scattered. It uses a narrow tube to block all the light except the direct rays. Inside the tube is a sensor, again usually a thermophile, which captures this focused sunlight and measures its intensity. So why is this useful in agriculture? Direct sunlight affects how efficiently plants carry out photosynthesis. It also helps us understand the intensity and duration of sunlight at a place which is important for forecasting crop yields, designing solar powered systems like pumps and studying long term climate patterns affecting farming. To avoid any confusion, think pyranometer as a pan in pyranomic view. It measures all the sunlight, direct and diffuse radiation. So it is all around radiation scanning mechanism like a camera with wide view. Talking about the pyranometer in which helio means sun in the Greek as in helio is the sun god. So pyranometer is equal to measures only the direct beam from the sunlight. So think of it as a laser focus or telescope like instrument pointing only at the sun. Let us know the next topic you want us to cover. Drop your answers in the comments. Subscribe to Clarity for sure for more such insights. Thank you.